Hey, good morning, friends in Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, join with me in prayer. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Let us pray as Christ taught us in the Sermon on the Mount. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness. O God of our salvation, O hope, of all the ends of the earth, and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems my life from the grave, and crowns me with mercy and loving kindness. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, Increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. And that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Today's scripture reading comes from a very well-known passage in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29. So if you have your Bible, uh, open up to Jeremiah 29. Uh, we're going to begin in verse 1 and then skip down to verse 4. This is the text of the letter that the prophet Jeremiah sent from Jerusalem to the remaining exiled elders, the priests, the prophets, and all the people Nebuchadnezzar had deported from Jerusalem to Babylon. This is what the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, says to all exiles I deported from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat their produce. Find wives for yourselves and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters to men in marriage so that they may bear sons and daughters. Multiply there, do not decrease. Pursue the well-being of the city I have deported you to. Pray to the Lord on its behalf, for when it thrives, you will thrive. For this is what the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, says. Don't let your prophets, who are among you and your diviners, deceive you. And don't listen to the dreams you elicit from them, for they are prophesying falsely to you in my name. I have not sent them. This is the, this is the Lord's declaration. For this is what the Lord says, When seventy years for Babylon are complete, I will attend to you and will confirm my promise concerning you to restore you to this place. For I know the plans I have for you. This is the Lord's declaration. Plans for your well-being, not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. You will call to me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you. This is the Lord's declaration. And I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and places where I banished you. This is the Lord's declaration. I will restore you to the place from which I deported you. The word of the Lord.
Thanks be to God. This passage is really, really awesome. And a lot of times you'll see it on journals or maybe a, a Bible um, or a notebook or something like that. Um, and it's, it's a promise, not just to the, the ancient Israelites. I mean, and that, that's why we, we have it on these books and stuff that we use today. It's not just a promise to the ancient Israelites. It's a, it's a promise to all of God's people that we live in this world as aliens, as, as people that are foreigners, uh, people who might be citizens um, of a nation, but where our true citizenship lies is in the kingdom of heaven, is with God, uh, through, our, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And it's in His kingdom where our citizenship, our citizenship truly matters. And one day, He will call us from this land where we are exiles, and He will restore to us everything, everything that he's promised us in Christ. So the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, uh, you are so good to us and we thank you. We thank you for who you are and and what you do for us and um, help us to see all of the ways that you bless our lives and our families. Uh, We ask that you comfort us at, at this time. Uh, some days feel worse than other days. Some, sometimes uh, more tragedies seem to occur. And, and we ask that you comfort and bless all of those who are, are, are going through various trials at this time. We ask that you restore those who um, are, 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 are feeling lost or have lost. We ask that you heal those who are sick or with disease. And that you give us all peace and that you give us unity and love for one another um, so we don't bicker and, and fight over trivial things, but we look at each other and see that we are people whom you have chosen, people you have made family. So help us see one another as family members, as, as people that are more important than ourselves, and help us to live lives of self-sacrifice for the benefit of others. Help us to not be so uh, self-absorbed and self-centered to where we care more of ourselves and we think more of ourselves than we think of others. Help us to do this in love and in faith. In faith with what you have promised us in Christ. Help us to forgive as you have forgiven us. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all danger and harm. We ask you to preserve and keep us this day also from all sin and evil, that in all our thoughts, words, and deeds, we may serve and please you. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty, order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all, friends, and extend that peace to everyone you meet.